Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. It is about 8 a.m., and we are going to be testing out the JTS dead center pellets in 30 cal with my trusty FX impact here. I'll be shooting a regulation size bench, 100 yard bench card down there at 100 yards, and we're going to see how these do. Now, this gun is tuned for the FX 44.8 grain pellets. Now, these are only about 45 grains, so very minimal weight difference. I assume the point of impact will be pretty close. So what we'll do is we'll save you from the boringness of sitting here and watching me shoot at a bench and I'll put some lead down range and we'll go see what the target scores are. Typically with this gun and me not being a very prolific bench rest shooter, my scores are usually around 220-ish. So if I can get these to shoot 220 as a score for my bench card, I'll be pretty happy. But let's see maybe if they do any better and we'll do one or two cards and score them, maybe three if you're lucky. So Stay tuned here and we'll show you the results of shooting these. So I will be shooting these directly out of the tin. I did not sort them. I did not select anything. I just pulled them out of the tin and put them in the magazine. And look at how decent those skirts are. Not banged up at all, all super uniform. And keep in mind, I did bring these back driving from Armac in Utah to Chicago. And uh, they didn't get banged up at all in the packaging. So. Hopefully that says something, but what will really mean anything is how they perform downrange on a 100 yard target card. So that is what we're going to find out. And Eric just showed up, so we got two cards down there now, and he's also shooting the JTS pellets. So we will go ahead and uh, give you guys a better test here. A few moments later. All right, Eric and I just shot our cards. You can see the wind flags. Not a lot of wind today. Of course, it's like 8 in the morning, so... Pretty, pretty low winds. I noticed a little bit at the top of my card. But you can see my other flag there. It's just pretty much hanging pretty still. A little wind in the trees above us. So I will take my green Sharpie here. We'll mark these up and we'll tell you what we both scored. Okay, so there's my card. Not looking too bad. And we just scored it. And I had a 221. And here's Eric's here. Also not bad and he scored a 210 and both of us had quite a few tens and x's so not bad let's shoot another card a few moments later all right heading out to check our second card wind's picking up a little bit now it's getting later in the day i did have a flyer or two but overall looking pretty good and then eric's card also looking really good dude so we'll score these and tell you guys what we got. All right, my card two was 218, and I need to slow down because I shot that in about a minute and a half, if that. And then Eric shot a really nice card, 222. So we're we're one and one, and uh, let's do a tiebreaker and shoot one more, eh? Yeah, sounds good. A few moments later. All right, here's our third cards, looking pretty good. Dude, your card's looking pretty monster. So let's uh, let's see what the scores were again. So far, I got a 221 and a 218. He had a 210 and a 222. So let's see who wins overall. It could be that we do it best two out of three or total score. What do you think? We'll do best two out of three. All right. So be it. That first card is a little low. All right. A few moments later. All right. Scores from card three are in. 224 and 224. So you got that calculator still handy? Yeah. So oh, we're gonna have to. Score? Yeah, we're gonna have to. You're up by you're up by seven points. I already know total overall seven points. Okay. We'll give it to Carter. All right. <laughs> Good times, dude. All right, guys. So that's gonna do it with the JTS 30 caliber 45.06 grain pellets. They shot pretty well. You saw me and Eric shoot some good cards. If I'm being totally honest with you, I think they're about equal with the FX 44.8 grains, but none of those pellets that we shot were sorted or weighed at all. And reports from Eric who did weigh them, he was stating that they were all like plus or minus 0.01 grain, which is pretty good. So perhaps the advantage is that maybe you don't have to weigh them out of the tin and you could just put them in your magazine and shoot and be fine. So I thought they were pretty good shooting a 224 on here. That's pretty respectable. I'm usually around 215 to 220 of a bench rest shooter, so not bad. I'll, uh, I'll give them the thumbs up, and uh, thank you for JTS for supplying those. Cheers.